um, they, the boys had, were doing some metal work and, and I can't remember, but they had some woodwork around, they were making oh, yes, this is interesting. And when I spoke to the teacher, he said, I'm trying to get the boys to think, why am I making this and who am I making it for? So there's, they're, they're making it for a purpose, but he said sometimes they don't take it so seriously, so they're, they're a bit, they don't make it with care. So if they had to make it for somebody, they might take yeah. more care in their work. And that came from the teacher, not yes. from me. And I wrote it down thinking, so well, that's, that's yeah. elements of mantle there, you've just told me. So if, if they invested if they said their work, work yeah, yeah. And, and then, then it the wasn't made for yeah. a yeah. specific yeah. purpose. Yeah. Yeah. That was yeah. very yeah. interesting. And they yes. may take more care in, in their work. Which also led me to the question, is it necessary to put a mantle on that? Could they really benefit from having some drama in there? It's about engaging people in something that has guts to it. Because without the guts, there's not much fun. So everything at the bottom of it, there has to be some guts. Either coming towards us, or has just happened, or is about to happen, or is happening now. So what are these events that are coming our way? It's all about implication. Theatre is about implication. If they do that, then it might be missed. I see our boys yes. go, they're, they're just smarter, you know, they're streetwise, they'll be like, well, this is rubbish, this is just made up. Hi, my name's Rich. I've been experimenting with Mantle um, at our school, uh, at Tertiary and Boys School in Birmingham, uh, with a group of mixed ability year seven students. Right, so my Mantle project that I did in PE uh, was with um, the mixed ability year seven students. We were looking at um, kind of inventing and creating a new sport and a new game, um, with the, the big commission eventually down the road to lead towards creating a game for disabled students. So it was about opening up uh, the students' creative minds and ideas to be able to put together a game based on the knowledge that they already had, but obviously they had to kind of inquire and question about what they needed for a game. They started very basic, they thought it was basically just football to start with, they did with, with different rules, but then they realised that actually it needs to be more inventive. And then you could see their creative kind of juices flowing really with the students, and they really took responsibility for their learning, for creating, and they had a real pride in creating this game. And then the hook obviously came, as I said, with the commission, when it was about disabled students, they had a real buy-in there, and they wanted to help um, the caring students out boys, and they really do have a kind of passion to want to do well. And that really hooked them, um, and I actually got um, somebody from outside to create a video from the sports council, the video was shown to the students, and as I say, it just really hooked them, um, and they ended up creating a really fantastic game. Uh, the biggest challenge, that that was kind of probably first stepping over the line to do it and have a go because in PE I thought I just didn't see how I could get drama into the actual PE lesson and, and obviously the inquiry method of mantle it involves drama um, and, and that for me was the biggest stumbling block at the start. If I'm honest I think I probably got a bit brave and just said right I'm going to go for it and I'm going to have a go and if I'm honest I probably modified mine slightly because of PE and probably had less drama than maybe some classroom based lessons that I've seen. Uh, nevertheless, it was still kind of a mantle theme and the mantle was running through it. Um, and, you know, students took on different roles and they kind of had buy in. The commission was there, the enterprise, the, the team. So it was a mantle with perhaps slightly less drama. And I think that helped with the boys in secondary school, especially coming to PE expecting traditional sports or sports. This was a way of getting them on side. The, the most important thing that I found with this was want to have a go at it, but also I think the planning had to be really kind of spot on beforehand to know where the actual mantle was going to go. Because there is a kind of danger that you kind of let it happen and, and it flows the wrong way. And you've got to, at the right time, it's just I think a question, stopping the lesson at a certain time, just to shape it in a way the students still take ownership and responsibility. But it actually stepping back and allowing the kids to do that. I think that's, that was the most interesting thing and I think it was the most important because it allowed me to think more reflectively about my practices and how I question students um, and also giving them the, the, the power to kind of create you know, the journey that they were on. 
I think the most successful thing from it, when I was nervous before doing it, but then once it started, it kind of, it was just brilliant to see. The kids were so engaged. They, um, you could see they're enthralled and they're like looking forward to the next lesson. And yeah, we do have that in some lessons in PE, but ultimately you do have the times when they're like, oh, not gymnastics, or oh, not that sport. This wasn't like that. It was, we've got to create the game now, or we've got to add the rules, or we've got to create a badge for our, for our team and for, for the game. And, and I think that was the most, it, it gave me loads of pleasure to see the kids kind of running, not running the lesson, but running their own learning, but also then being engrossed in it. So fantastic.